Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that I did go ahead and make a brand new Instagram that you guys can go follow me on. It's just Life of Bio 2K. The link to that is going to be in the description down below, as well as the brand new Snapchat that I did go ahead and make for you guys. So feel free to add me on those. And uh, yeah. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Bio 2K. And today, man, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on how to just straight up dominate and how to basically never lose in triple threat online. This is gonna be some strategies on basically how to win, like I said, every single game, get you guys, you know, some better boards, at least I hope so. Most of the time when you win and you're repeatedly going all the way through, you're gonna be making a lot of MT, a lot of tokens, getting prize packs, all that sort of fun stuff. So just bringing you guys a quick little video in here, not quick little video, but bringing you guys a video on how to win um and stuff like that so if this video does help you guys out be sure to leave a like on it would be greatly appreciated if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe we are officially under 150 subs to 32k which is insane we hit 30k like a week ago so again man i really appreciate all the support you guys are showing but with that being said let's hop right into it if you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to nba 2 kingcom use code bio2k for five percent off your final order so at this point right now, you guys can see like today in my team as like the like little goal thing, um, play triple the online to win. You guys get free diamonds like Danny Green, Rex Chapman, Zion. There's Ruby AI. There's still I think pink diamonds on the board as well. Not entirely sure on that though, so don't call me on that. But there are diamonds and stuff like that on the board. So obviously you guys are gonna be wanting to win and stuff like that. It actually expires tomorrow. So. Like I said, Triple Threat Online, there's different things you guys can do. You guys can see this is the lineup I've been running the past, like, well, I was going to say the past couple days, but obviously I just replaced uh, Dino Dude with Ben. But um, before that, like I said, I had Dino here instead of Ben. So um, real quick, um, I want to actually tell you guys this because a lot of people don't know if actually about this. So with your lineup, if you guys actually run um, a lot of the Evo players, so um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll over here to the rewards. Go to spotlight rewards and i'm talking about the evil players like isaiah thomas uh dirk kevin garnett clyde drexler you have wade um and then you have the other guys that kind of the, like the more recent ones that you're probably going to want to use like kareem jeremy lynn you have uh dwight you have jason kidd and then you have iggy these guys actually kind of glitch out the overall for some reason so say you had pink diamond iggy pink diamond dwight howard and pink diamond jason kidd you're gonna actually match up with starter teams that are like emeralds and sapphires and stuff like that so if you guys are struggling just a tip to find weaker teams just use these like evo players even if they are amis and stuff like that like i said you'll still match up with weaker teams but that's obviously not what i'm gonna be showing you guys here i'm gonna be showing you guys the legit way that i play and kind of go through all these triple threat games i honestly haven't lost a triple threat game in a couple days the only one that i did lose i'm i'm just saying i don't count as a loss because the person literally i think he had nine i think he had nine or ten offensive rebounds and there's nothing you could do about that when the game will not let you grab a board i couldn't hit a shot but it don't even matter the point is winning is very simple you guys can see like i said we have wade ben Wallace, and paul george the way i design my lineups is i always have two players like wade and paul george that could basically play defense and shoot the ball really well. What I mean by that is their the releases are really easy to green. They can come off like hezzies and screens very easily, and they can also hit a pull-up shot very nicely. Then for the third option, I always like to have a big man that can rebound the ball, play defense, block some shots, and also can shoot the ball as well. Because if you get off ball and triple threat, it's just really annoying, especially if the person can't shoot. So I really recommend just as like a tip overall to make sure that all these guys can shoot right away. Ben Wallace too can actually hit those pull up green threes really efficiently, which is kind of stupid, but well, that's 2K20. All right, so we're going up against a pretty interesting team here. Leitner, Clay Thompson, and Russell Westbrook. So I guess like that's a pretty interesting team. So right away, you guys are probably going to be like asking, you know, what should I shoot with the meter on versus the meter off? Most of the time, I do shoot with the meter on for triple threat because I do feel like the um, the game is very laggy when it comes to like literally just triple threat. I feel like triple threat, every game that you play is just like the meter is always delayed and stuff like that. And I just feel like that doesn't really work out. But because I am using a guy like Wade and a guy like Paul George, I know their releases very well. So I am going to shoot with the meter off. But right away, you guys can kind of see um, like, like how we were able to get that wide open shot. So he's going to green at 35% contested shot. Okay. So when you guys come down though and start this off, you're going to hit pass and screen away. If you hit L1, on the ps4 or lb on xbox you guys will see it. it pops up and basically what this does is it gives you a free five out so if you guys are using you know especially like bigger guys like ben Giannis, lebron like kd whoever it really is it's gonna actually really help you guys out with getting um 
some wide open like dunks and stuff like that at the rim of course he has to hit that but uh yeah so honestly i do like using this because like i said floor spacing is one of the biggest issues in this game and what this does is it actually really does free up the space like on the floor so right here you guys can see we're actually gonna get wide open with paul george now that's my fault because i actually thought that was ben wallace that was open so i shot it without even looking so that was my bad but uh we're gonna get lucky right there he is gonna miss his shot as well we're gonna get wide open wade easy grains like right there on that shot as well so like i said running like a five out in here is basically like the best way to actually consistently score because like i said having floor spacing is very important now you guys can see my opponent has the meter on he's not really greening anything i don't think he's you know he greened that mid-range but yeah so meter on for this i don't know it's like i feel like it's hit or miss um same thing with meter off it really just depends on whether you know the releases or not because i know them like i said i know paul george i know wade that's why i do like shooting it with it off um, if I am using budget guys like Bonga or whoever, I do, like I said, like turning it on. Um, that's just like the first little tip right there, though. On the defensive end, um, you... can this kid please just green a shot? Like, that's all I really want to see is just somebody actually have to green a shot. But you guys can see right there, too, on the offensive end, those pull-up shots are really good. I'm going to get into kind of how to score a little bit more consistent and stuff like that. I just get annoyed when people don't green shots against me and just make everything because the game just consistently doesn't care it just lets people do whatever they want but it is what it is so on the defensive end though i'm not even really paying attention on defense i'm not gonna lie on this game because like i just i don't know i'm kind of just annoyed and i feel like this is gonna be one of those games where even if i play defense i'm not gonna get rewarded for it so it don't even matter but um as we're gonna green a nice little shot right there on defense though what i always like to do is i always like to pull the person down who's defending the inbounder so you guys can see right there we actually get a nice little steal but um, what happens is um, when you're defending the person that's inbound in the ball, so right here, it's going to be Leitner. You can actually come up and full court press this in a way, and you will actually be able to get a lot of inbound steals and stuff like that. So right there, that should have been a steal again. We're contesting that shot perfectly. He actually misses it. He's going to get the rebound, but again, you guys could already see the score. We're winning by a lot. The next game that I play for you guys, I'm actually going to get into um, defense a little bit more because this game obviously was more offense. We shot the ball really well. You guys can see I'm pretty sure we only missed one shot maybe um yeah we missed one shot it was a three but then it was that paul george shot but easy win regardless let's go easy wide open shot for wade so on the defensive end i'm going to show you guys here we're actually going to go ahead and push up with the person defending the inbounder when you want it when you do this it's actually going to kind of help you guys get a little bit more bump steals and stuff like that because when people see a guy up like above like uh defending like the inbound and stuff like that they try to play faster and obviously when people play faster they do throw a lot more turnover so you guys will see right here we're gonna probably bait this never mind he's gonna take a terrible shot we're gonna get the ball back though let's go push this up we're gonna get an easy three here with wade again ah, that's my fault man i gotta green that it's all good though it's gonna go out of bounds so i could show you guys again when you press up with the inbounder here it's really all about just speeding up your opponent so right here again you guys are gonna see this we're gonna try to speed him up here He's going to kick this to AD. Again, that is an easy steal all day for us. A lot of triple threat, too, is just baiting your opponent and speeding your opponent up because triple threat games are short. So realistically, as long as you are forcing your opponent into, like I said, turning the ball over and stuff like that, most of the time, people will quit. I get a lot of rage quits when I play triple threat about people just dipping out in the first, like, two minutes of the game because they start getting pressed up and whatnot, and then they just get annoyed, and then they just hit a quick dip. So right here, again, he's going to kick that right to me. 100% supposed to be a steal, but it's all good. We get to stop anyway. We're going to get wide open again here. We're going to slow this down a little bit. Wide open. Easy greens again. 8-5 to five lead, and he might actually quit. Nope, he's going to go into settings. Like I said, on defense again, we are pressing up with this inbounder. Because like I said, even if like he beats us like that, we have our defender there. And right there, you guys can see he tries to play faster and is actually going to result in a bump steal. We get another easy bucket. Same thing. We're going to run up again with Paul George here. And it's not even like you're really sweating on triple threat either. It's more just like to, like I said, speed up your opponent and get people to rage quit. So again, he's going to throw another baited pass here. Oh, I was going to say, we just had to jump that one. Again, easy. Can I Like, does Wade just not matter as a person in this game? Like, that's like the third shot where he just shot it in my face. And Wade just apparently doesn't count as a contest. It's all good though. Um, unfortunately, like I like I, every time I make these videos too, somebody always comments and says, "Oh my God, you're telling people to off ball." 
The way that this game is, you have to off-ball. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That is exactly why right there. He tried to on-ball that, and you see how far he slid just because I was able to stop on a dime. That is the reason why you can't on-ball in this game. So for anybody that was tweaking out about that or whatever, he's going to throw another baited pass. We're in that passing lane, though, every single time. Like I said, that is all it is, is just reading the passing, reading the passes, trying to figure out where they're going and getting people to throw baited passes like that. You guys can see again, though, easy stops. We're going to snatch this back, and we're going to get another easy wide open three with Wade. Another easy green. We're winning this game by six. I by excuse me, by eight. Good math, Bio. You love to see it. But again, same thing. We're going to press up here. He threw another baited pass. Good contested shot. We're playing defense. We're just doing everything we need to be doing to win this game here. If you guys do go up against somebody that is off-balling you, which is going to happen nine times out of ten, I'm going to show you guys what to do um, after this. It might not be, like, as good just because, like, he is on-balling it, but... um. Yeah, I will show you guys in one second. Good defense again. Like I said, we're going to get him to throw a baited pass here. Like I said, right to me. I could win the game right here. I'm not going to do that because I actually want to show you guys what I'm talking about. So say he is off-balling me here. You're going to call for a... Can you, like, not... I'm trying to explain something to the people here. All right, oops. I did not even mean to throw that. So again, when you call for a screen, you're going to click the trigger. So it, or you're, yeah, you're going to click the uh, stick. So it actually switches to the proper side. You're going to run and you're going to go all the way to the other side of the court and get a wide open three, which you are allowed to green. And again, once you see that screen change and you tap quit, if it asks you, are you sure you want to quit? Don't hit it. Don't quit. But if you do it at a good enough time, you will be able to quit out and actually not have to sit through like the MT screen and stuff like that and just get through your rewards quicker. So this is what I was talking about before, though, um, like that I did want to show you guys the offensive thing. When you switch this over and you run this screen thing, you're going to be able to get this wide open three basically every single time down the floor. That was my fault for not greening that shot because, like I said, realistically, you should be able to green that every single time. It is what it is, though. Um, you're going to probably miss a few shots here there just because of the way that the game is. But I do recommend starting out a little bit deeper on the court. Just so this way, when you do run, you will get right to the three-point line. You will hug it, and it will be able to uh, be a little bit easier to green the shot. Now, um, as far as, like I said, on the inbounds, that is how you get those steals right there is why I'm telling you guys to make sure that you guys do defend them because, Ben, you're really not going to get that board. Like, that's the whole point of you being here, Chief. Well, hopefully this game is done being dumb because I keep trying to show you guys stuff, and the game is just not working out too well. So, again... When you run this here and you guys do see that somebody plays it, it's entirely okay because all that means is you literally just do it again. Okay, it didn't work again. Guess what you're going to do again? You're going to run it. You're going to run it. And boom, look at that. You get a wide open three. Again, my fault for not greening it. But as long as you just consistently do it, you will eventually get wide open. It is dumb. Don't get me wrong. But again, you're just going to get wide open for three, nine times out of ten. I don't know why I can't green this game. It's my fault. But you guys get the point. You guys, you know, I am getting wide open. Obviously, if I if I probably wasn't doing that, we would probably have a good enough lead by now. But I don't know. I can't green this game because I'm a bot. But uh, yeah, you guys get the point. Like I said, it's consistent scoring. Just defending the inbound on defense is realistically the best way to uh, kind of clamp people up here. Occasionally, I will send double teams and stuff like that because it does throw people off a lot more than you guys would think, like especially on triple threat. So like right here, we're going to go out. We're going to contest that shot ourselves. We're going to make sure that uh, Wade sti I, I literally got stuck to the ground there for a second. Like, okay, we're going to get wide open though. Easy greens. Again, you guys get the point. This is going to be another easy win. I literally hopped on the mic because the I'm, you're probably going to watch this back as a video. If you do follow my channel, like most of the time I play triple that on my account, I get recognized, right? So as soon as like the game started, the kid paused, turned, put his mic in. I was like, okay, I'm going to go into game chat because I always go and talk to you guys when I match up with you guys and stuff like that. And yeah, I always have fun like talking to you guys, right? kid matched up to me as soon I was obviously talking to you guys so the second I put my mic in the talk I greened a three and he quit the game before I actually end this video too I actually want to give you guys some good budget ballers that I think would be really good for triple threat Mo Bamba is definitely one of them Isaac Bonga is another one um you do have uh oh not on this screen my apologies I'm gonna scroll over to the prime stuff here Thon Maker, again, another good player that you guys can be using in Triple Threat here. They're all a bunch of budget options that I think will really help you guys out. Um, obviously, not so much of Paul George and stuff like that. But there are a lot of options that I do really recommend that you guys using, like Pete Maravich. Um, you know, even like a card like Avery Bradley would be really solid. I mean, even going through here, like uh, Wiggins is really good. Michael Red is really good. There's definitely a lot of players that I think you guys should look to pick up, you know, that's not involving Pink Diamonds or even galaxy opals like even like i said those spotlight cars that you guys could use 
from the original like spotlight challenges are really good and they'll actually help you like you know kind of glitch out like the overall thing a little bit hey guys before this video ends i did just want to let you guys know that i did recently get partnered and obviously most of you guys already know that but i'm going to be live streaming almost every single day all day um depending on whatever we're playing um well, obviously just depend on my mood for that day but my twitch is on the screen twitch.tv slash bio 2k with an underscore and you guys can see it on the screen um and then also obviously i do have a twitter if you guys want to drop a follow over here as well the links to both of those are going to be in the description down below i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh yeah peace